Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee. Now uh, I'd like to do a demo of uh, uh, Planar Penny setup. Uh, here's the ESO I used for my uh, first um, Planar Painting workshop at uh, Huntington Library um, as a student um, with the professor Robert Sherrill and I learned a lot of practical tips, including um, the setup. Uh, to, be, to be briefly, uh, he used a, a board, some, something like this, with a, uh, a, 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 a screw that you can touch to any tripod, and then uh, a little table-like uh, uh, platform for pens uh, and brushes. And you can use uh, magnets, uh, he recommends strongly magnets. I have ha happen to have some magnet, uh, some metal on this board. And so you can use uh, two pieces of uh, magnets, uh, you know, like a small stud uh, on the back. Actually, I cannot take it out, it's strong. So this is small stud on the back will help uh, to make any board into a magnetic. So on the little table here, um, I got water. And uh, this is very interesting. I wasn't sure what is it at the beginning, but you can see it is uh, uh, a section, a section that's cut off from a uh, paper towel. And the brand uh, he is recommended is having, um, what I use at home, uh, Viva, the uh, uh, cotton paper towel which is very soft and strong, like a cloth. Um, and this is the piece I, I got it off. The tool I used uh, are cleaver, <laughs> the Chinese kitchen knife. Um, I find the kitchen knife is more efficient, uh, but the, the saw can help to cut the corn. Uh, so I use both. You can find uh, better tools if you like. What, uh, what uh, um, I saw in workshop is this, that you can use, let me just get a brush so I can show you. Um, I use my large brush during the workshop. I, th I, I think the, yeah, this painting was uh, done 80% by this uh, large, large brush uh, and uh, the piston brush pen for some details, like the little, little uh, construction features and the statue, etc. So uh, when I use the large brush, I would always use a, a paper towel to adjust the moisture so I can get uh, both wet and dry brush strokes. Uh, OK. So I soak the brush. Instead of flipping it on the floor, I just do this, right? So I can start to load the, the brush. Let me change uh, this paper so I can show you some interesting tips. I just got a cheap, cheap watercolor paper for this demo. I like this uh, kind of uh, cheap paper, you know, like uh, for uh, you can get from Amazon for ten dollar, something like that, um, fifty sheets, or even more. So use clipper. Okay, <laughs> so I just do whatever here. Um, you can see. So let me just put some uh, wash, like a, uh, I have, happen to have some flowers here, so I just do the uh, orchid. So, <coughs> okay. Let me put the phone down so I can 
paint. This is not very stable, you see I have to test it. That's why I do it at home, you know, as a, so to, instead of take the risk, you know, when you are on the field, so it, it helps to foreseeing the risk. See if I got too much ink or color there, what I do is I, I take a piece of a paper towel uh, and just blot it, remove, remove the I want it to paint. So you can recover even more by wash it with the, this paper is very and not forgiving, unforgiving, uh, it's cotton, but very absorbent, uh, cheap paper. If you have arches of you know more tough paper, you can even scrubbing it, but you will see fussiness if you do this on this paper. But still, you can remove quite um, much, you know, just uh, to give you a chance to correct something. Uh, you can do makeup. This is wet into wet, so it's a, in the background. This is this is a nice uh, orchid from Taiwan, the, the wild or, uh, or, uh, Perinopsis. This brush is a wrist brush you can get from Blue Heron Arts. Um, my teacher also uh, was very interested in this brush and he will get it for himself. I'm glad that uh, you know, this, this is uh, approved by an uh, authoritative uh, watercolor teacher. I think the the painting is helpful to start with a large brush, is it? So just that you know you, you don't have to reload often. This is the wrist brush. Okay. And uh, let's just finish this painting by adding a little uh, stain. Calligraphy. You can just use the whole thing as a sponge if you want to 
Hang on. That little blood, the whole blood, like it, like this. Let's draw it. See that? That's how much you can do with this. Um, hope you enjoyed this demo and uh, do let me know what the best way to cut the uh, paper towel with uh, um, what kind of tool to cut it. Bye-bye.